going down, Green Screen Entertainment fans? Your boy Jay Green is back. Right now, I'm about to give you my review for A Star is Born. Now, this is Bradley Cooper's directorial debut, and it stars Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga. Now, for those of you out there who have no idea what A Star is Born is all about, this movie is basically a remake to the 1976 film titled The Same Name. Now, in that movie, it starred Barbara Streisand and Chris Christopherson. Here we have Bradley Cooper playing your has-been rock star that falls in love with the aspiring songwriter slash singer in Lady Gaga. Now, straight out the gate, based on what I was seeing in the trailers, which were all beautiful and definitely set the tone for what this movie is going to be like, I thought this movie was going to go one or two different ways. And the way that it actually went was completely different from what I thought. I thought it was maybe going to be a little bit more based on industry and stuff like that and how management can get in the way. And next thing you know, these two are at odds with each other. But this movie was actually more of a character piece of both individuals, where they're going to go, what their ambitions are, what they really feel in here and how they deal with family, friends and everything surrounding them in this whole entertainment industry. I love what Bradley Cooper did with this movie. I love where he took these characters. Some of it was heartbreaking, gut-wrenching, but at the same time, a lot of it was just wonderful and joyous to see play out on the big screen. Now, while this movie definitely has its ups and downs of emotions, I will say this, that carrying you throughout all those ups and downs is phenomenal and flawless acting from everybody that you're seeing on screen. Sam Elliott, Bradley Cooper, Lady Gaga, Dave Chappelle showing up in this film. Everybody on screen that was a supporting character or the marquee characters that you're seeing add to this film's amazingness. Now to speak to Bradley Cooper's directorial debut and his skills behind the lens, this man is a phenomenal talent. He's showing you what he's got in front of the lens, but he's also showing you what he has behind the lens. What I mean by that is some of the shot selections that he has for him and Lady Gaga together as they're falling in love. You really believe it. You really see it. It's very intimate the way that he's shooting those scenes. Some of the shots that he has while they're at odds with each other. You feel like you're in that action, the heat of the argument, wondering where is it going to go. He's talking to his brother in the film, Sam Elliott, or his friend, Dave Chappelle. You're engaged in these conversations, simple conversations with no music or nothing going on in the background just dialogue and you are in that ride you are in that journey with him and with this character the shots when they're doing the concert scenes you feel like you're at that concert i can't speak highly enough about his directorial debut i think that as he was on the set of movies like american sniper or the new clint eastwood film the mule he's probably taking some notes and that's real one thing that i love so much about a great love story is how layered it can be if you can give the characters some great layers and you can give the story itself some great layers you got me already and this movie does just that like I say, it's a love story at heart, but at the same time, we're also seeing the layers of the entertainment industry and what it could do to a person's ambitions or initial goals that they have going into the entertainment industry. We get a lot of backstory and layers between Bradley Cooper and his family, same thing with Lady Gaga and her family. So now that we know a lot about where they come from and why they think the way they think or act the way they act or what they got going on in here and in here based on those surrounding them, we understand and we can kind of see some of the foreshadowing as to how they're going to act or respond to certain situations that come up in the film. But the awesome thing about that foreshadowing is it really wouldn't matter if it was foreshadowed if we didn't understand the characters and why what we're seeing matters to them. That's the thing. Some movies will foreshadow shit all day long. You see it coming and you're like, oh snap, this is going to happen. But it doesn't really matter because we didn't really tie in what that foreshadowing was to the importance of the character or vice versa. In this movie, they do that. So again, the layers are necessary and the layers and the acting have to be all on point in order for certain things to be foreshadowed to hit you a certain type of way. I give it all up to Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga for being able to showcase that in this movie. Now check it out, yo, this movie is phenomenal. I don't see any reason, honestly, why this movie is not gonna be nominated for Best Picture. Yeah, I said that shit right here and right the fuck now. But I will tell you like this, this movie is not sunshine and rainbows. This movie is thunderclouds and hailstorms, okay? So when you head to your local cinema, be ready for a real life depiction of what love or being in the entertainment industry can actually be like for a celebrity over time if you have yet to check what's really going on up here or in here how it can either make or break you. That's what this movie is going to give you. Yo, I hope I gave you all a little bit of insight into what this film was all about. If I did and you like what you heard here and you like what you saw here, do your homie a favor, like, subscribe, I'm out.